what's up everybody so me and bandit are in the tent we're actually just going to stay out here tonight it's low 50s about 52 or so it's not supposed to get below 40 i mean below 50 i mean until like 2 a.m or something like that so i want to give the diesel heater a little run and it's going to be on low basically because i'm not going to crank it up but i'm kind of curious as to how long it'll last on that battery and as far as fuel wise like how much is it going to run down so i put a, a a piece of tape on there the top of the tape is marking the fuel level right now and then uh, we'll check it tomorrow and see just how much fuel it actually burned down it's firing up right now so here shortly we'll have heat pumping in the tent it's really not that cold in here though so it'll definitely be a low and i may end up shutting it off periodically throughout the night so we're gonna call it quits and uh get some sleep and uh we'll check back with you in the morning later Good morning, everybody. Man, it's still sleeping. Not now. Anyway, we slept out in the tent all night. Uh, took a little bit to get the diesel heater dialed in. Uh, at first, I had it set too low, and it actually got cold in the tent. But then, um, I woke up and I reset it again. I changed the thermostat on it a little bit more. And uh, then it got too hot in the tent. So then I adjusted it back down a little bit. And I think I just set it on 60. And I think I just set it on 60. And that was like the dialed in temperature because after that, we slept with no blankets on. I kept my feet inside the sleeping bag down here at the end. But, yeah, no problems. The heater's been running great all night. And it's still running right now. But, yeah, it's putting the right amount of heat in the tent. Didn't have to sleep with any covers on. Just my feet, because I don't like my feet to get cold. But, uh, I was just looking at the battery and stuff on it. Let me show you here. The battery's still reading 11.4. When I started this, the battery was reading like 11.8. And that battery's not hooked up to a uh, battery charger. And then I got the 654 in the morning. We started it at one o'clock. Shows it's 64 degrees inside the tent. And that's what I got the thing set on a 60. yeah diesel heater man <clears throat> that is definitely the way to go once you get it dialed in that thing puts out the right amount of heat i woke up and it's actually raining outside a little bit which is funny because i've never used my rooftop tent in the, in the rain yet this is the first time i've slept in it with in the rain and it's actually quite peaceful now bandit's up and moving look up there bandit look up there bandit <laughs> it's raining we're gonna make some coffee all right so we'll have to check out the fuel and see what the fuel level is on the heater and then uh might sleep out here again tonight shit i like it <laughs> all right see you later oh man it's a nice kind of foggy drizzly rain kind of morning out here yeah, I just shut the heater off. Let's check the fuel level. I put a piece of tape on here. Ugh, let me get up under here. It was chilly outside the tent. So the top of the tape line is where I started the fuel at last night. So 
It didn't even go the width of the tape line yet. Might be close. So we can peel it back without taking it all the way off. So I can get an idea where that's at, actually. Yeah, so it didn't even go the full width of the tape line on fuel last night. And that's about seven hours, almost. So I started at 1, 1 a.m. and I went to 7 a.m., so that's what, six hours. So, yeah, pretty friggin' efficient.